I'm Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a montage using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, a montage basically is um, time passing much quicker in front of the camera. So um, with Microsoft PowerPoint, it translates to a slideshow of time passing. Now, I don't have photos of time passing, like somebody, like graduation photos. So somebody goes from being a baby to a kid and on and on through life. But I do have some photos that we can kind of play around with and get a basic idea of it. Usually with a montage, you have a, uh, a transition to black and then back into, into a picture or something in between each section of time. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's take a look. Here I am inside of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. I've got a few slides already done up. These are some photography pictures that I took. And we're going to make one more slide. So right click and say new slide. And it's completely blank. And let's right click on it and say format background. And you've got a lot of uh, choices to choose from, but we want to insert a picture. And it's, instead of putting the picture onto the slide and then trying to size it up, I'm putting it as the entire background so it's completely seamless around the sides. So you don't get any like white slivers or anything showing through. All right, it fills in this pretty awful looking gradient, which is kind of the uh, default. We don't want that at all. We're going to instead insert a picture from a file. And let's see, let's get a nice ending photo. How about this night shot? That looks pretty good. And we'll insert that and close. So now we've got, a, we've got a kind of a starting photo with a nice bright sunny day and then all the way down through to the end of day. That's pretty good. All right, let's come up here to the animations and we're going to select this fade to black. You notice there's two with black, but this one is solid. So it basically means it's going to cut to black instead of fade to black. So it's going to be a little more jarring. We want to smooth things out to have it, give it a little bit of a flow. So let's select this uh, fade to black. And we're going to say we want to apply that to all. So that's going to automatically apply it to all of the slides in our show. And we don't have to worry about clicking on them individually. We're also going to select this automatically um, advance the slide after. It defaults to four seconds. I'm actually going to change that to two seconds kind of move things along a little bit so we're not dwelling too long. And if we uh, go to the slideshow and view it from beginning, we've got a nice fade up from black and then to black and into the next slide and et cetera, et cetera, as it goes along. So that's not too bad. I'm going to end it right there. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a montage using Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm Josiah Ray.